this is Harry Judd for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and with the one and only Michael Conlon. How are we, Michael? Well, good, Harry. All good, mate. How have you been? Obviously, last time out and stuff, you've had a, a bit of time now to deconstruct and go away. Yeah, how how have things been? It's been great. Um, it's been good to be back in the gym, training the way with the boys. Um, and obviously preparing for you know a, a big fight against Miguel Mariaga next weekend. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You're heading back to Belfast. How does it feel once again? A fantastic, man. Always, always good to be home. Um. Especially in Belfast, you know, in, in you know Ireland, anywhere would be fantastic. But Belfast is is my home, so it's a special place to fight, and you know, I always have a fantastic support there. So you know, I'm looking forward to that again. You had time away. It's it's obviously a long time since obviously the loss to to Lee Wood. Have you been able to sort of deconstruct and and sort of reflect on it a little bit more? Yeah, but um, went over the loss, noticed where I made mistakes. Um, you know, it's been more of a learning curve than anything. It's been fantastic. So, you know, I, I'm really happy with how things have progressed since. Um, I know the silly mistakes which I made, and you know, I've obviously went back and tried to correct them and and fix things. So, you know, I think I've I've taken it more as a learning than a loss. And talk to me about getting into the ring. Yeah, you know, how how was that sparring again and, and putting the gloves on and the pads and yeah, you know, how was it to get back and get back to work really? To be honest with you, it was normal. Um there was nothing different. Um it wasn't like I, I was in a like a, a fight which where I got pinged from pillar to post. Um uh, one shot is probably the most that I really got hit with and it was the shot to finish the fight. So uh yeah, um I was good. Uh no problems at all. Sparring was great. Uh I had some class bar in this camp. So, you know, I'm really happy, really prepared for what's to come. You're fighting a well travelled Colombian in Miguel uh Mariega, um, who comes to Belfast with, with 30 wins and you know, only a few losses. You expecting a big test? hundred percent. The only people he's lost to is you no. Know, World hitting challengers and world champions. The only person who's stopped them is Lomachenko. Um, so he's been in a very, very high caliber of opponents. Um, you know, I don't expect to take him out. I uh, expect you no know, to use my boxing skills and get the victory. Um, but who knows if, if the stoppage is there, I'll go for it. There's a lot of pressure on this fight for you now. Yeah, I think no, because you know, I've lost already. Um, the fear of losing and stuff is gone. Uh, I just want to get back into the Taylor race and, uh, and get back to the top. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting in and putting on a performance. Uh, and, and that's it. Um, I'm not worried about anything. Uh, I think my preparation, how I prefer, always kind of eradicates any doubt. Um, so that's, that's, that's where I'm at. And, you know, when you look back at that fight and, you know, many people had you way up um, yeah. going in, in, into that round and, uh, many people had it even, and and obviously the scorecards reflected something totally different. What did you make of the scorecards? I thought they were shocking. I thought they were shocking. I, I had myself way up. I knew I was not in them, so and uh, I knew with you know the current judging situation at that stage, it was like fuck. Who knows? I could be, <laughs> I could be behind here. So. Um, yeah, uh, when I look back on it and I watch the fight back and stuff, I can see that the score was was off in my opinion. Um, and and in the majority of people's eyes, so you know it is what it is. Uh, it's boxing. Uh, the scorecards didn't matter in that fight anyway. You know, I I I got I got took out in the in in the last you know minute or last minute and a half. Sorry. So it is what it is, mate. This is boxing. One punch can change the course of a fight, and uh, and that's what happened in that fight. Um. And all credit to Lee Wood, you know, he he dug deep and he got it done. So you know, fair play. Um eventually we'll have the rematch and eventually I'll get my victory back. But until then I've just got to focus on who's in front of me and uh, keep pushing forward to that. Obviously Lee Wood wanted the old British clash with Josh Warrington. Now the the Santa Cruz fight has been called. Is there any possibility that you could swoop in there to fight Warrington after this fight? I would love to. I would love to. Um, whether or not that happens, I don't know. I, I think I'm near sure he has a mandatory um, with the IBF. And uh, I forget his name, the guy that stopped Ezekiel. 
Um, so I, I think he has a mandatory. If not, then and and I was I was called, one hundred percent. I would jump in right away, no problem at all. Um, I rate Josh Warrington. I think he's a good fighter. Uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for him, a lot of respect for his family. So, yeah, um, that's a great fight and, and one I would love. And one, I think two farm bases would clash and it's fantastic. You know, you see it in Northern the Irish, you know, it was just, it was an Irish invasion. And I think, you know, wherever that fight happens with me and Josh, if it happens, if it, if it ever happens, but if it happens in the UK, it probably happen in the EMEA. And if it happens in America, probably in MSG. So, you know, I'm sure that we both could, you know, pack out arenas. Uh, we're uh, both sides of the Atlantic. What do you make of the Lee Wood and, and Santa Cruz fight? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Leo wins, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, you know, my opinion of, of Lee Wood hasn't changed. Um, I said before the fight, you know, he's tough, he's resilient, and, you know, he punches hard. And uh, I actually probably, I don't think he punches as hard as what it's made out. More in, in our fight, I think, it was fatigue that got me more than anything. Um, so, you know, I took bigger shots through the fight, and, and I was all right. There was still standing. There was never hurt. Um, with Santa Cruz... Is he too old? Is he? Is he? Has he been fought, fighting at the weight for so long? Will they get him? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how that fight goes. I would lean towards Santa Cruz. Do I think the fight happens? Even though Santa Cruz is says your fight, I actually don't. I think this will be a weighted out situation, which will last for a bit of time. Um, I hope not. I hope. I hope Lee Wu fights this year. Um, it's crazy that like you no, know, the guy who who he beat is fighting before he's even had his next fight. So um, probably a bit of a shit situation, but this is boxing and these things happen. So, you know, you can't be surprised. You mentioned your training camp. You're out in uh, Marbella with the one and only uh, Harlem Eubank who fights this weekend yeah. um, in Newcastle. Um, yeah. How was that training in Marbella with him and him getting back into the ring so so quickly? Yeah, listen, I'm usually in Harlem's corner. Um most of the time he fights, unfortunately this time because I'm fighting next week, I'm not up in Newcastle. So, um, it's unfortunate, but I'm looking forward to seeing him. His progression has been fantastic. You know, every time you see him, he gets better and better. And a guy with very, very, really basically non-existent damage of career, um, how well he's doing and, and how much he's grown, you know, so, so fast now is, is great to see. And, and overall, a great human being, a great friend, one of my one of my best and closest friends in boxing. Um, and I'm excited to see him go and put a performance on. You know, he fought Master Dodd last time, and actually, I really like Master Dodd. And fucking Harlem's knock at him was fantastic. And you know, it's it's as bad as it says, boxing. All these things happen; people get knocked out. Um, but yeah, he was he was fantastic in that fight, and I was I was expecting a tougher fight for him, but he just landed a peach of a punch. And let's say let's um if you get through uh, your your fight on the in Belfast on the eighth of August, where what can we see from you next? I'm aiming towards a rematch. That's that's where I'm aiming. That's where I'm targeting. Whether or not that happens next, I don't know. But that's that's my goal is to get back into that position. Um, try to push for the rematch. Well, if not, I'm ready to fight any of the other champions. Um. And just push on. Now, I want to be world champion, as I've always been saying. I'm saying since the start of my career, I want to be a world champion. And you know, I know I have the ability and, and, and skill set to do it. It just needs the I need, I need to kind of be in the right position. And, and that's where I've got to get to. So boxing is a fucking mad game of tennis, mate. So you got to maneuver yourself in the right ways at the right times. And, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do is just get back in the right positions.